You have someone here that gave you an item that you need to get rid of right away and I don't think you know what this item is because it's something that you have taken from this person a long time ago and it doesn't even matter to you. It's creating stagnation in your life. That item needs to go and needs to be thrown away. And if you don't know what this item is, what you need to do is some um, deep cleaning, decluttering. Go through everything that you have and get rid of anything that you have been keeping because someone gave you that item as a gift or you are keeping it just because you don't want to be rude and get rid of something that someone gave you. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. It carries magical energy. Or I, I should say magic. Not magical. I mean, everything in life is magical. But some people will attach bad... But some people will attach bad energy to items. And it becomes magic. Okay? Everyone is capable of doing magic. It doesn't have to be uh, reading or creating a ritual. It is a, I mean, this person could have done that, you know, did a ritual to attach bad energy to it. But it's, we can attach bad things, bad energy to anything without a ritual, okay? So whether, I feel like this person meant to attach bad energy to you. This is blocking love from coming in, in your life. This is blocking love from coming in your life. It needs to go. It is in your house. It is not in your car. It is not at your workplace. It is not at your friend's house. It is in your house. You need to declutter. If you don't know what this item is, you need to clean, declutter, get rid of anything that a person have given you. Now, I'm not saying that you need to get rid of every gift. It is an item that you do not use. It's an item you keep, but do not use. Get rid of it. If you have many gifts, because I'm, I'm getting someone kind of complaining. Uh, if you, if you get, if you have a lot of gifts, okay, when you touch the item, I want you to hold it and see how you feel about it. You know, hold it and put your hand on your heart. Do you feel good energy or bad energy? And if you don't know if it's good or bad, say the words joy. Do you feel joy? No? Do you feel happiness? Do you feel warmth? No. If these are no, 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 no good feelings attached to the item and what you feel in your body, get rid of that. If there is an item that reminds you of really good stuff and it makes your heart grow bigger and warmer, keep it. This item carries bad energy. We intuitively know what bad energy feels like if we don't think about who it came from. Okay, so don't think about who it gave, who gave you this item. Think about what this item feels like. If it feels bad, get rid of it. I don't give a fuck if this person was close to you, if this person was your mother, your father, your sibling, your uh, lover, your... I don't give a fuck. Judge the item's energy. Do not judge it or based on who gave it to you. I don't care if it was your ancestor or your grandmother that died. I don't care. The item is carrying bad energy that is blocking love from coming in. It is creating stagnation in your love life or love in general. It doesn't have to be love life. It can be like simply blocking love from coming in your life and you can feel there is a void. Why are people not loving me? You know, why are people so mean to me? It's because you have an item that is blocking love from coming in. It carries negative energy. You need to get rid of it. 
It's not going to go on its own. You need to get rid of that item. Items get possessed energetically as much as bodies, vessels. Okay, I'm not saying possessed by an entity as in like a spirit, but that item carries negative energy, which is blocking you from um, creating the flow of love. Whoever this person that gave you this item, they don't like you. They don't like you. They pretend to like you. This is someone that is two-faced, you could say. This is someone that, I mean, hate is a strong word, but let's simplify it. They pretend to love you, but they hate you. This is someone that is disgusting, someone that is miserable, someone that pretends to be a good person, but they're not. They're not a good person. Whether this person knows it or not, they um, are, they have a, a, a witch blood. And it, I say witch, you know, it doesn't have to be a woman. Just keep that in mind. There are witches, men and women. Or you could say, I don't know, like, what, what do they call the men? Uh, sh a, a warlock? Whatever, you know? That they have uh, that energy of, with, with, of witchcraft in their blood. Meaning that they have ancestors that carry the same uh, capabilities. Now... I am the type of person that believes everyone can do magic. But I also know that there are specific families that carry that energy through their, blood, through, the, through their bloodline. I can't even speak properly on this reading, which is very interesting. I'm like stuttering and stumbling on my words. This person is not um, innocent and naive as they might appear. They are actually powerful. Now, they might not know how powerful they are. They might even accidentally put their negative hate energy into that item that they gave you because that is their true feelings about you. But they didn't intend to block love for you intentionally. Do you know what I mean? There are people that do not know how powerful they are and their thoughts, their words manifest. And they can affect other people with it. Some people don't know. Some people know, some people don't. And the fact that this person has a bloodline like that kind of uh, boosts their effect, meaning that they can affect others more than the average person because of their ancestors. Whenever you have ancestors that are like that, it becomes more powerful because these ancestors help. You know what I mean? Whether it's good or bad, I don't know. Like, I'm not saying that these ancestors of this person are bad, but they will help. They will help increase or... It's almost like um, strengthen the potency of the energy that they send to people. You know, I know how that feels because uh, before I knew how powerful I am, I used to send people different types of energy and I was not careful. And my ancestors will help me. 
So it is quite dangerous to have someone that is that powerful without knowing what they can do. Because let me tell you something, the moment you become aware of your power, you become careful. It's like, ah, uh, okay, uh, do I really want to hurt this person? Or just, just like, uh, they're, they're just annoying, but I wouldn't want to hurt them. <sighs> that is when you are aware of your power. When you don't know how powerful you are, you become like, ugh, I wish this person is dead. But then you subconsciously think that it's not going to happen just because you want it to happen. But if you know how powerful you are, you would be very careful because you know that if you say that, it can happen. So, uh, yeah. I don't, like, I'm not quite sure if this person knows or not. Do they know? Do they know? Does this person know what they're doing? Maybe. Maybe they are about to discover it because we have the justice card, which is someone that is... It's, it's not uh, decided yet. Maybe this person noticed some signs but they don't fully believe it. You know, there are people that see ghosts, that see spirit, but they don't believe their own eyes because they try to make sense of them with their brain. And then the brain tells them, no, it's not true, you just imagined it. And then they'll say, yeah, I just imagined it. You know what I mean? So this person could be like that. They could be like, in between. They feel powerful, but they don't really know if it's true or not, or they're just imagining things. In any case, I don't give a fuck if they know or not, okay? At this point, the, the warning is about it protecting you, okay? I don't care if this person discovers uh, how powerful they are or not, and use it for good or evil. I don't care. But what you have to do is protect yourself. Whatever this person gave you, you need to get rid of it. And if you don't know what that item is, you need to get rid of any fucking thing that is sitting in your house, your home, for no good reason. As a gift. It's something someone gave you as a gift. But this gift, it's, it's, maybe it's sitting in storage or in, in your garage or whatever. It's not something you use. It's something you could even, like, I don't know, like, display. Put on a shelf or some shit like that. It needs to go. Get rid of anything that someone gave you that you're not using. I don't care. Declutter. Because it's blocking you from attracting or manifesting love in your life. Whether this is romantic love or just love in general, where people always seem to be against you, Get rid of it, okay? I'm gonna have to sage my place after this reading and expel whatever energy that I might have attracted. Let me just clear the energy as well before we go. I'm gonna clear the energy for me, for you, for everyone that is watching. All the negativity, all the darkness that this energy carries transmuted into light. All right, save your place if you want after this reading because I will, okay? I wish you all the best. I will see you soon.